Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Simus, and we're always learning, and I come to you with an apology and a correction. I have made a big mistake in some of the recommendations I've made, and there's a specific place where we've made this big mistake, and that is in statin therapy. Yes, statin therapy. And no, I'm not reversing my position on a whole bunch, but I've got a longer talk that, we, that we've put out in a, in a three-part series to understand the excessive science behind this. But briefly, because this is such a big deal, if you have, if your blood work shows that you have a low HDL and a high triglyceride count, irrespective of your LDL count, and you are insulin resistant, that is the only place, the only place where there's an absolute benefit from being on a statin. And I, I have made the mistake of buying into uh, the fact that statins are almost never warranted. But the one indication, and this data comes from something called the PROSPER, P-R-O-S-P-E-R, statin trial. There's actually a couple of trials out there that showed exactly this. That there is a significant benefit to statin therapy if your HDL is low and your triglycerides are high. If your HDL is high or your triglycerides are low, that benefit is not there. Now remember, statins have significant side effects, an absolute direct increase in diabetes, an absolute direct increase in cognitive dysfunction, an absolute direct in increase in muscle damage, and an absolute direct in uh, incidence of increased liver damage. So those are the four side effects of a statin. So what we're talking about is cardiovascular protection. And my algorithm for cardiovascular protection occurs in four layers. The first single most important thing you can do for cardiovascular risk is lower your blood sugars, become insulin sensitive. And the best way to do that is to follow a ketogenic, low carbohydrate diet. We can help you with that. The second thing is to correct insulin uh, uh, resistance aggressively. And while a low carbohydrate is primarily geared toward that, to accelerate the effects of a low carbohydrate diet, the single best medication you can use is a GLP-1 agonist, an Ozempic, a Trulicity, a Munjaro, a Wegovi, uh, Rebelsis, th there's so many of them on the market, but we can prescribe that for you and absolutely that does lower your risk of cardiovascular disease. And I use the word absolute here so that it's not a relative indication, it's an absolute indication. The third one and the third and the fourth are equivalent with a different side effect profile. The next thing is a baby aspirin a day. If you are at significant cardiovascular risk uh, from plaque, from atheroma, a baby aspirin has platelet activation benefit. And then secondly is a statin. And the PROSPER data shows that a statin reduces risk in people with a low HDL and high triglycerides, people who are insulin resistant, type 2 diabetes. So until you correct the ratio, a statin may be warranted, or if you are on a statin, stay on one. Or you can add or replace a statin with a baby aspirin. But the hard work is a low carbohydrate diet and then secondly, a GLP-1 agonist. That's the algorithm. I've made a mistake in getting pe some people off statins too aggressively. But when you come and talk to me about it, I'll review your blood work. We'll also review the disease profile and the, and the uh, side effect profile and then determine what is best for you. That is best practice. Your cardiologist won't do that. They won't have this conversation with you. Some will, most won't. If you're interested in understanding yourself from this perspective, give me a shout. 561-517-0642. Let's set up a consult. Let's review your blood work. Let's review your lifestyle. Let's see what changes you can do to reduce your risk of dying or having a heart attack or a stroke from cardiovascular disease, which is the commonest cause of death in this country at the moment. I apologize for not knowing this before. We know this now. We know it with clarity. And let's get you going. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. Give us a shout if you want help in sorting through this.